This this week in Coffee and Tools, we're going to be talking about a review. We're going to be looking at a lawnmower by Tack Life, and they're it's kind of an exciting company. They have a lot of innovation. They're they're sort of like that Apple computer thing with like Think Different, uh, and they have really got a lot of tools, a lot of stuff, and they have an electric lawnmower, which kind of excites me because I'm just looking forward to the idea of something that's quiet. You just flip a switch, it runs, as opposed to chasing down fossil fuel. Uh, it's almost green, really, by comparison. And I've got a helicopter flying over me right now. Welcome to Coffee and Tools. We're going to do a review on a Tac Life lawnmower, and we'll, we'll give you the specs, the features. We're just going to take a look at the whole application, and I'm pretty excited about it, so hang with me. Did I mention brushless motor? I guess I should have cordless, brushless tack life. This thing is awesome. This is the future for lawnmowers, I believe, anyway. It's, uh, it's, it's time to do the open box. And uh, so we're gonna get this box open. Uh, yeah, I've got a, I got a pocket knife here somewhere. <laughs> oh, I am so excited about this. I can't wait to get this baby open. This is really a modern uh, deal here with this electric lawnmower, but uh, wow, look at the packaging. Okay, nicely bubble packed. Uh, everything I have received from Tack Life so far has been packed very well. This looks, again, very well packed, but I can't wait to get into the features and some of the really cool things about this particular lawnmower that really surprised me. So I want you to hang on because there are some really interesting little things about this one that. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna catch your interest now we got, The first thing we're gonna have to do is obviously this is a uh, little catch bag cuttings and leaves so that's really cool and Oh, yeah, voila <laughs> Yes, look at that and there's a little handle here that uh, allows you to pick it up. It's not a heavy lawnmower It's gonna be quiet. It's gonna be very efficient. Obviously it doesn't even use gas and the other thing I noticed was uh, there is some really other cool features like vertical storage, which I think is amazing. So now, let's see what else we've got in here. Uh, an open bag that's been... Yeah, okay, all the goodies here. So, let's see. Okay, the next thing <clears throat> that we need to take a look at... Tack Life always includes a, pr a pretty nice, pretty easy to deal with uh, manual. And this one, same, same old thing for Tack Life. It's got a nice little manual to uh, help the owner to, you know, get into, you know, any problems or questions or assembly. And they always have nice little drawings to sort of, you know, help you out. So I've always been pretty impressed with that so far with the Tack Life. And by the way, Tack Life, yes, they sent this over to me for review. So that's why we're here today, is to check all this out. And let's see what we got here. And there's the, oh man, yeah, charger. You know, if you're into Harley Davidson, you might want to own a Tack Life. I'm just thinking uh, something about the orange and the black, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's get let's keep going. There's more to this, and of course, <clears throat> here it is. Yes, the battery. Oh yeah. Wow. Man, that is heavy. That is a heavy battery. That I'm not gonna put that on a scale, but I'm gonna say that that sucker's got to weigh close to about eight or nine pounds. But it looks like a good strong 40 volt lithium ion, and I believe they said uh, some people are you know reporting somewhere around average about a, an hour use with the uh, lawnmower. I don't know about you, but after an hour, I need a break. So all good. Let's get let's get the rest of this out of the box so we can really see what this guy is all about. But, uh, there's the two pieces you're really going to need besides the lawnmower: charger, battery. Hey, yeah. This looks like all we got to do is lift it out of the box, and we've just about got an entire lawnmower. They've got some nice wrapping on the plastic in here too, which is which is cool. Look at this thing. This looks like one of those jet fighter things, you know, where the guy jumps in, it closes, and he takes on something from the future. That is so cool. Anyway, we got to let's get this thing out of the box, and so let's. Oh yeah, let's see if. Uh, yeah, let's see. Wow. Yeah, that whole thing picks up. Wowee. Okay, here we go. Okay, now that I've emptied the box, uh, this is what was in the box. So there she be. These two pieces here are going to go to help hold this together. Fold up nicely for storage, so don't panic. 
obviously the charge of the battery. Let's get the battery and the charger on right away so we can uh, test this bad boy out. Well, after we unpacked and we're set up here, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to get these in the kit. And you're going to be looking at these. Okay, take them apart. And you've got the two pieces here plus the, I guess we call it the washer. And it's a uh, contour washer which fits the plumbing back here. So I'm just going to show you quickly how these go together because it's really simple, really, really easy. It's a no-brainer. But we're going to put the bolt from the outside through here and line up with the hole that we want to use. Now there's three holes here. So if you need a little taller, you want to go to the top hole. If you're a little shorter fella, you might want to go to the bottom hole. I'm just picking the center hole because that's, you know, that just seems like the easy, the easiest, easiest one. Just, just go with the middle hole right now. So now the other thing is the contour washer. That's going to go on the inside and you're going to see how it has that little bit of a, you know, a groove in it. So that'll go through. This is a, like I said, this is a, this part's a no brainer and I have to hand it tack life. It's pretty simple. Now when you tighten this knob up, this is where things could go wrong. So I'm going to show you something here. Get the knob started and bring it on up like this. Now I'm going to tighten this up first and lock it and notice it's pointing in the down direction and I'm going to tighten the knob up a bit. The only reason I'm doing it that way is because if you get the knob really tight and then you pull this down, you've got a lot more pressure than you need. This, this, this lawnmower is very light, so you don't really need it really tight here. It's not like you're you know, fastening a, a wheel on a car. This is the uh, catch bag that comes with the Tack Life lawnmower. It's really well made. I like it. It's, it is a really nice piece and it has a really neat feature. When this thing is full, this little guy will pop up to just show you you know, that it's time to remove the bag and empty it. But you do get a handle in the box. So to attach the handle, all we have to do is a piece here with two locks on this end that are going to clip into the bag. So we're going to just simply pop that in. And there's our handle. So we can handle our bag. Now, let's put the bag on the lawnmower. Now to install the bag on the Tack Life lawnmower, we simply open up this big hatchback here. And the, the bag has two metal clips here that are going to go in here and they'll sort of almost self-guide them, but that hangs the bag on the back. And then just close this down you're ready to go. This is a ready to go out there and get some grass unit right now. <laughs> Let's go get her. Okay, before we can go cut grass, I guess we're going to need a couple of things. One of the things you're going to get in the kit is you're going to see this thing in the box when you get it. And what it is, is this is actually the key to the lawnmower. How do we put the key in? Well, we open up the cover here and plug the key in right there. Now the key can be plugged in either way. It's simply a universal fit. It'll, it'll, it's not polaritized or anything weird. So it'll just go straight in like that. The other thing we're gonna need, of course, is this big battery. The charger is solid green now, and that tells me the battery is, yep, totally full, ready to go. Now we just slide it in like that. It locks in, close the uh, canopy hatch here. We're good to go. Let's go outside and play. Operating your new Tack Life, now that the battery's in, the key is in place, we have a button here and we have a lock bar here. We'll be pushing the button this way and then pulling the bar down. Releasing the bar stops the lawnmower. So push the button in first, then lock it down. Easy peasy. A couple of quick notes here too. We have larger wheels at the back, which again, I really like that Tack Life seems to think these things out a little bit and offer features that I haven't seen in the tool world for a long time, but they have the larger wheel on the back, which makes the rolling. Uh, the rolling is look, one finger, and you can roll this guy around. This this thing just it's easy to roll, but it also has uh, six heights, which you can easily shift into and lock into any height that you want. In fact, all the way up to six. Now six is pretty high. Uh, I didn't measure it just yet, but that's got to be at least about four inches off the ground. So that's a lot of clearance. Uh, if you were bagging up leaves or something like that, you maybe you'd use the higher setting or a specific grass that's, that you know dries out really easily. The lowest setting, which is right down here, leaves about oh about an inch. So if uh, if you're golfing on grass, you might want to use that number one setting. 
The nice thing is the shifter handle feels really good and it slides up and down really nicely. And it, like I said, as far as movement goes, this thing rolls. This isn't going to hurt your back. It's going to be a lot easier to use than most any lawnmowers I've ever run into. So at this point, we really love this new uh, Tack Life lawnmower. She's awesome. I'll show you how light and how easy this lawnmower is to roll. My driveway is not level, but it's not on a real steep angle, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. One thing too that to notice is when I'm pulling back and I'm cutting on an edge or something like this, the lawnmower goes back and forth really easily, which really, well here we'll turn it on. Really impressive because there's no strain on me. Let's empty the bag and see what we have because I haven't cut hardly anything, but yeah, I've got, uh, yep, I've got some cuttings in there. So, uh, easy to, easy to empty, easy to re-put it back on. So, that passed the, any test that I have. Tack Life Lawnmower, what an awesome little machine and so light, so easy to use. Before I forget, I'll put a link below in the description for this particular uh, lawnmower. Also, I will provide a link for the Tack Life Tool Company's webpage or something so you can have a look at it. They make a lot of stuff, so don't be too surprised. This is not a really a small company. It's actually a growing company, and they have a lot of really cool new stuff coming out all the time. The uh, review today is not paid for or affiliated, anything like that. It's just simply, a re say, send me over a lawnmower to review. Hey, we'll review it. Yeah, going down the driveway with us, uh, the, lawn, the uh, neighbors are looking at me wondering where I got this sexy looking lawnmower from. Anyway, the, uh, it just pushes so easily that you'll never have any back strain with this at all. And we're pretty darn good lawnmower. Wow. And sexy. Did I mention sexy? I'll say it again. That is a sexy looking lawnmower. Another interesting feature. Ah, put the lawnmower aside. Of course, the gas isn't pouring out because it's a cordless lawnmower. It's electric. I was checking the blade here. The blade has a really nice sharp edge and is balanced, as you can see, which means this thing's going to run smooth and quiet. And also, it's going to pick up the grass at the same time. It has a little bit of the tab on the back here, which will help vacuum the grass up into it and shoot it, of course, up into our bag. But I really like the blade on it. It's a nice, uh, light metal blade, but it has really nice sharp edges on it. It's not dull like you usually get with a lawnmower. So this is pretty impressive, actually. I, I know it's sort of, it might sound weird to some, but believe me, this is an impressive feature. Normally I wouldn't do this, but just for example, I'm actually carried the lawnmower on its handle over here just to show you again how light it is. Now, this is another feature that really uh, caught my interest because the most of the lawnmowers are pretty bulky these days and you really can't easily store them. But the cool thing with a lawnmower like this is that she can be stored vertically, which I think is pretty darn awesome. So you can take a lawnmower such as this and say, one of the great things about a cordless lawnmower is you can store it vertically. You could hang it on a nail on the wall. The gasoline's not going to pour out of it. So that's another feature about the tack life that I really like. It's really quickly, it's, it's really easy to fold the legs up and you can put it in a corner someplace and not take up a lot of space. That's a big plus. <laughs>